How's it going everyone? Protopon here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the uh, solo world that we're building together. Right now, with the start of this video, we're going to go on that second treasure hunt. We have the treasure map right here. And this one, I'm not entirely sure. It's, I'm thinking it's over... might be that way I don't know if it's this way or that way but we're gonna find it today and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get right into this as soon as I get at least within the normal map of this um, where this this X is and the map starts uncovering itself I'll bring you guys right back into it and we're gonna go find this treasure all right let's do it all right, guys, we're already here. Oddly enough, this this is crazy. You ready for this? It's right over here where the ocean village is that we found. It's, it's literally right here. This is... I, I had a sneaky suspicion. I thought to myself earlier today, what if? And here we are. This, this is <laughs> very interesting. And you know what? Let's see. I wonder. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. I think I know what the trick is. Maybe. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I'm going to take a wild guess. <clears throat> and... Let's go with, I guess it's different on land. There's a trick when the chests are underwater, but it doesn't seem to be that way on land. Yeah, no, it's definitely not the same way on land, but here we are. Let's see what we got. Iron ingots, eight, prismarine, prismarine crystals times five, more TNT, Potion of water breathing that lasts three minutes. That's fantastic. Iron, uh, gold ingots, another heart of the sea, more cooked salmon. All right, let's go. Man, this is such a great start to this series, is having little mini uh, adventures finding buried treasure. I really hope that we find another treasure map soon because I love doing this at the start of the video. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get into the boat, and um, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna get right where uh, we're gonna be starting off uh, with our build. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back on the first island that we found. I think the general consensus right now after. Uh, few people talking to me about it um someone left in the comments that they would really like to see the uh lighthouse built uh on the first island that we found the um treasure map or the buried treasure by in the first episode um so we are going to be starting off um and we're going to start building that lighthouse um <coughs> first thing we're going to have to do is gather resources um and this is going to be quite the extensive uh bit of farming that we're gonna do um here in the beginning here um lighthouses usually <coughs> to make it look pretty aesthetically pleasing you, you definitely want to pick anywhere between two to three different types of building blocks um just for like the main structure itself and i've done this a couple times and <coughs> There's a couple different ways I like to do it. One main way that I've done it in the past is get um, like either cobblestone or stone brick as a base material, and then the lighthouse like stem itself is um, polished dorite and polished granite put together. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. Um, as you can see, I got kind of got a little setup here on the island. I found this like little dirt cave that kind of cuts through. Um, I parked our boat right here, which was very convenient, but we got our basic stuff right here. We got the, the crafting table. We got, you know, um, the furnace here, which I'm going to start uh, melting down some sand into glass. 
Um, actually, let's get more of that. Let's, so we are going to need glass for this. Um, for the way that I like to build the uh, lighthouse at the top. Um, iron ingots. We're going to definitely have to make some more. Um, definitely have to make some more. Uh, what's the word? Of pickaxes eventually. Um, where the heck is. There we go. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. Um, we're going to get the gold. We'll put that there. Prismarine, whatever. We're not going to need this for right now. I'm just clearing out our inventory because. We're going to need to go farm a lot of blocks. I'm just being spastic right now. Um, as soon as I'm ready, uh, we'll get right into it, okay? All right, I think I'm pretty much ready. I've got three iron pickaxes. I still got that wood pickaxe when, that we started with. Uh, got not 18 torches here. Got a, a little bit of extra spare wood just in case. Of course, uh, dirt for any... Uh, short bridges we might need to do but the first thing we're gonna have to do is start digging a mine out I'm not entirely sure uh, where I want to do that we have a problem though right now uh, I haven't slept in this world yet in three days and we have phantoms that are uh, here trying to kill us so the best way to avoid them is to stay underground which is what we're going to do um, I think the best thing here that we're gonna do is our our spots right here, I'm thinking of just digging, like, right here and starting, like, our own mine. Um, this is kind of nice. We have, like, water here. What I might actually do, even though we got enough food for the time being, I'm going to dig this, this area right here, right around this. Um, and we're going to make a miniature farm. <coughs> actually... Um, with our dirt, so we are going to need a farm. Eventually, we're going to need, uh, our, our fish is going to run out. I mean, I could make a fishing rod, which is actually <laughs> quite the handy tool to have, especially since we're right near an ocean, which is unlimited fish. Um, I need more dirt, which is not a problem. Let's just dig out a section. There we go. Um, yeah, I think let's do this first, and then that way things can start growing while we're gone. Um, we're gonna need more sticks, and what I'll do is we'll make a stone hoe. There we go. And um, that's an Enderman. Let's do that. Where are those seeds? Wheat seeds. We need nine. There we go. And we'll start planting our crop. There we go. How are we looking? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, that's a good little start there. Um, throw this in here throw that there because we're not going to need it. We'll keep the sticks on us because hopefully we'll find some more coal so we can make more torches. But let's go find... I think the spot I'm going to do is just right here, right across from our, our little uh, hole here. And we'll just dig in a little bit like this. <coughs> and then we will start digging down. Alright. I'm going to do this for a bit. Uh, and I'll bring you guys right back in as soon as we get things cooking. Alright, this is kind of crazy. I didn't really dig down that far, and I already hit, like, an underground, like, um, waterway. Which, when we explore, if you go right here, this actually leads right up to the surface again. Right here. And this is crazy, because if you come right here, we already have lapis. Right here. Like, this is the closest to the surface that I've ever seen lapis before. That's insane. Um, what I'm going to do is mine this out, because this is a very, very re valuable resource, because this is what we use when we go to enchant things. Um, so I'm going to mine this out, and then we'll be on our way 
There is coal here too, but I'm not gonna waste time trying to dig underwater for coal right now. So, um, yeah, I'll be back. Well, guys, we mined down and I ended up finding a underground cave system. So we're going to start exploring this. Um, immediately we have a couple pieces of iron here, so let's dig that out. That's gonna be very, very valuable and useful to have. Um, especially since we just blew um, six of that 11 iron that we had originally on making more pickaxes. So let's let's light up the place while we have some of these torches. Do that. Um, <clears throat> while I was mining down here, I hit a very big vein. Um, well, yeah, semi-decently vein of coal. So we got 24 coal here. While we're at it, we might as well make more torches. Um, <clears throat> from here... I also found a little bit of uh, copper, and now we're finding even more copper, so let's mine this out real quick, too. Um, yeah, you know what? I think, ooh, I mean, there's so many different options that we could do for the White House and um, what we want as far as the blocks go. Um, copper makes some really cool-looking blocks, um, and they start off as, like, this, like, literal copper color. But if you let it sit out, it oxidizes into more of like this green color that you see here, um, and it's real. It looks really nice. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't do both of them at the same time, like side by side, because it'll all just turn green. Um, I was thinking we could do like an oxidized look. It'll almost look like the lighthouse would almost look like the Statue of Liberty in a sense in the color scheme, but. Um, that could be an option. If you guys want to see that, we could totally do that. Um, right now, I'm going to mine out um, different kinds of blocks, and we can kind of discuss how we want to build the lighthouse and what we want to build it out of. Um, all right, I'm going to do some intense farming, and I'll meet you guys back in just a moment. All right, guys, I dug all the way down to deep slate level or the start of it. And this is probably one of my biggest recommendations for the lighthouse. It's going to give it a like a like for like the base part of it and like the roof part of it. Um, because there's so many different blocks that you can make with deep slate. Um, as you can see here, this is what it looks like when it's natural. You can dig this out. And then when you pick it up. It's going to give you this really dark block. Like, compared to cobblestone, that's cobblestone. This is cobbled deep slate. Look at how much darker it is. Um, it's honestly, it's such a fantastic block. Um, I, think, I think that's what we're going to build the base with. But if you guys want, uh, like, a normal block, like cobblestone or whatnot, um, <clears throat> we could definitely do that, too. I'm going to give you guys some options here. Um, because I, I need to farm a lot of materials before we just start jumping right into actually building the building. Um, and this is another reason why, um, we got, I, I decided to go with the lighthouse first, because while we're building up the lighthouse, we're going to be collecting resources to build the wall that we're going to build up around the village that we're going to build around. And once again... Um, I've been talking with some people, um, and they think that, and I agree with them on this, the seaside village is the village that we're going to do this with. Um, it's just going to be, uh, more pleasant to have the village in, like, a kingdom right on the ocean, and there's a spot within the village itself that we could, like, build, like, a watchtower or something like that, um, and we'll put the castle around there somewhere. But it's going to look cool when we're done with it. But in the meantime, we're going to build this lighthouse first. And gather as much resources as we can um, in the meantime. While we prep for the village itself. So that's what we're up on. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep farming out these blocks. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, it actually didn't take me all that long. Busting through this floor here where we're at got us right into a giant underground chasm. So we're going to kill the skeleton and I mean 
mean, yeah, look at this. Look at this. There's creepers up there, and that's not a pleasant sight to see. Um, and unfortunately, I think the one... No, I guess he must have been too far away to actually lock onto us. Um, but we need to start lighting this place up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not, I'm not prepped for skeletons. I am not prepped for skeletons. I'm not prepped. Let's get the lights going here. We'll put one torch here. We gotta spread this out. Kinda get our corners going here. Um, let's put, let's put one in the middle there. Maybe we can put one up here. Maybe that'll spread good enough. Um, let's, let's put one on the ground there. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, look. Look at this. This is this is gonna be really really good. Um, we got a vein of granite. If we want to use granite, we can mine this out and make it polished. Looks like we got some uh, some iron right here. <coughs> We're gonna need that. But yeah, that's what we that's what we found. Um, literally, it took me. <laughs> less than 30 seconds to dig through that floor and find this down here. This is going to be such a wonderful resource at our disposal with this underground chasm. Alright, I'm going to get back to the farming. If I find anything that's really cool, I will definitely show you guys. Alright guys, we're back at the surface. Um, I just did some wheat growing here. I had some bones from the skeletons that I killed. Um, turned it into bone meal and we have our first batch of wheat that we've grown and didn't actually find in a bunch of chests from villagers. Um, so we're going to collect all that up. We're going to replant. Let this keep going. <coughs> and what I did is I made a uh, stone cutter tool here. And I'm going to show you the different things that you can make from deep slate. Um, uh, minus, minus one thing. There is one more type of block that you can get out of deep slate. But I'm going to save that block for later. And I will explain to you guys why when we get there. But that's going to be way later down the road when we start remodeling the village and building in the village. Um, for now... I'm going to go do kind of like a little display of um, the different things that we've got. Um, let's start with the obvious basic. This is cobblestone. And we're going to put the um, deep stone equivalent on top of it. See, it's, it's much darker. Looks cool. Um, we're going to move on here. We've got our normal stone brick which comes from cobblestone when you remelt the cobblestone back down to normal stone and then you convert normal stone into stone brick this is my all-time classic favorite block but i've used it so much and i think i want to build the lighthouse out of the deep slate but again if you guys like this look for a base and i'm talking like a base like again like the stem like just like a stem of a tree the stem of the lighthouse is going to be made out of different blocks. I'm talking about the at the base of the stem, what we're going to end up using. Um, I could go with I could go with the cobbled look. I could go with the stone brick look. Um, here's what deep slate stone brick looks like. Again, it's darker. It's got a nice appealing vibe to it. Technically, what we could do is kind of do a mixture of all of this together and it would probably look really cool um we can honestly do whatever the heck we want this is what a chiseled deep slate block looks like um yeah it's cool it's interesting um probably won't be using that but i did want to show you guys that um <coughs> but yeah those these are these are the three different kinds of uh stuff that you can get out of the um the deep slate uh block itself 
um, there again, there is one more um, that we will get to uh, in a later episode. Um, I'll explain to you guys why we're saving it for later. I just there's a certain <laughs> a certain thing I like to build out of it, um, but we'll get there eventually. We've got what I normally build with as far as the lighthouse goes for this stem. Um, you take granite, you turn it into polished granite, and you take the dorite and turn it into polished dorite. And I usually use, you know, the, the polished dorite and the polished granite here as a stem. Um, we could use different materials for this. If we kind of go down like the darker look, what we could do is <laughs> heck you know what we could honestly what we could do is we could make the base and the roof of the lighthouse out of the dark um deep slate here and we what we can do is instead of using stone brick or cobblestone we could turn um cobblestone back into normal stone and mix it with the dorite to make kind of like a black, white, and gray. Um, you know, you got your tints, tones, and shades all in one lighthouse. And I think that would look pretty cool. Um, and I'm thinking what we're going to do is when we go to actually build the lighthouse. Um, I'm kind of wanting to just put it like dead center of this this island um, that's probably what we'll do I don't see I mean I can always build an area to make more space but over here um, no I think we're gonna do dead center of the island um, that way when it stands tall for all to see um, I think that I think that's the I think that's the play, um, like right in this area right here. That way, you know, it stretches all around the open ocean here, and then even people or whatever um, coming from land or whatever, um, we can we can see it as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. Um, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, farming of the different resources that we can build out of off screen and then once i get enough resources uh mined together uh we will start building up the lighthouse and uh, i'll show you guys the process of that um but thanks for tuning in can't wait for the next one i hope you all have a great day christmas is coming up i hope you guys have a merry christmas Happy New Year. Well, you know, heck, I'll probably I'll be seeing you guys before then, but take care and peace.